What's up everybody, Venom here with a quick guide on Crushed Beast Bones. Now this is an updated guide because I have previously uploaded a video on Crushed Beast Bones, but it wasn't a 100% drop rate, so I wanted to come back with one that is 100% and you will get 5 Crushed Beast Bones every time you kill one of the elites that you'll see in this video. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, the other guy does go into detail onto how to get crushed beast bones. It is not a 100% drop rate, but it still stands. You can go to any seller and get a crushed beast bone or five from the chest at the end. But again, it is not guaranteed. I know a lot of people had luck in the Hermit's Abode that I showed in the video, but I wanted to kind of update you guys on a way to do it without having to farm a bunch of sellers or run them several times in a row. The first elite that we are going to run to is Gaspar. He is located in Skoss Glen, almost right next to the Whispering Pines dungeon. You can find him right here, and he does not move, and he doesn't fight back. There are demons in the area that you'll want to kill before you encounter Gaspar, but that's really all there is to it. Kill the demons around, run up, and kill him, and he does not hit you. He will not hit you with any ability, he doesn't hit you with a sword, he doesn't even punch you. He just stands there while you kill him and collect the five crushed beast bones at the end. Again, this is a 100% drop rate. I have tested it myself. I waited several, several minutes for spawns and killed him several times in order to make sure that it was a 100% drop rate every single time because I don't like giving false information. So yes, this is a 100% drop Operate for at least five crushed beast bones every single time you kill Gaspar. And as I mentioned, it's probably one of the easiest farms I've ever done for the sheer fact that he doesn't fight you back. Ever. Not once. With that being said, the spawn time does kind of stink a little bit. He takes about 10 to 15 minutes to respawn, so I would suggest running to the other elite that I'm going to mention and bouncing back and forth if you need several crushed beast bones quickly, um, whether that be to upgrade your potions or to make the hardcore potion that I mentioned in my previous video. Now this next elite is called Blind Odwin, and he does in fact fight back. He also summons demons to help him fight back, so it's a little bit more difficult, but it really is not that much more difficult. I went in and one-tapped him on my rogue. I barely lost any health. It was not a difficult fight whatsoever. Even though he does summon demons and hits you back, unlike Gaspar, it's still a very easy fight and the mechanics are pretty basic and you just want to avoid anything that he puts on the ground just like with any boss that you fight in Diablo 4. With that said, again, it is a 100% guaranteed drop rate for 5 crushed beast bones every single time you kill Blind Odwin. Now, it did take a little while for me to get him to spawn, I'm assuming because somebody else had previously killed him in the area earlier, and he does patrol back and forth between this area right here on your map, so you might have to run up and down a few times before he spawns for you, but once he's there, it's a pretty easy fight, just down him and collect your 5 crushed beast bones. Now, there are a lot of chests in the area as well and some materials to collect, so if you have a spare minute, I would definitely suggest running around and grabbing those so you have those extra materials. And I even got a legendary out of one of the chests, so definitely take a look at the chests in the area. There's a few, and if you see any herbs, collect them, because like I said, collecting is extremely important in this game and you want to always make sure you have enough materials to upgrade as you continue your playthrough in Diablo 4. That's gonna do it for this guide. If you like the video, then like the video. And if you like my content in general, then subscribe to my channel. I hope that this was helpful and gives you a better idea on how to get crushed beast bones without having to run in circles a hundred times or run dungeons over and over and over or cellars over and over and hoping that they drop from the chest because this one's guaranteed. So I hope that you got some kind of info out of it and it makes your journey to the crushed beast bone grind a lot easier. With that said, I definitely think having a mount made this grind a little bit faster for me because running back and forth was much quicker on a mount. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!